everybody, it's Catherine from Jane Catherine on Books and I'm here with my weekly book recommendations. So if you remember, we started with a book a day when we first uh, started. I think I managed 40 odd days, which I thought was pretty good going. And I do believe that we are day 101 today of the shielding lockdown. As you know, we're, we don't get uh, uh, the, the loosening of the lockdown measures are much more slower in the shielding group. And uh, yeah, that's me and David. And we are allowed out now outside only for exercise and um, we just went went down to the we went in the car just down to the south bay and because that's our nearest place for exercise really you don't want to just walk around the block which i've been doing um and it was great you can't believe how great it was to get out so we just had a little walk uh with nelson along the along the top, uh, the top of the South Cliff and then we parked up in one of the uh, car parks there uh, where you've got a beautiful view of the sea and the bay and we just sat there, it was lovely and Nelson sat there and we were watching the world go by it was very quiet, there weren't that many people there and uh, yeah, you don't know what it was like to appreciate seeing the sea again uh, seeing anything, seeing anything outside of this bungalow it was marvellous, a bit scary but marvellous Anyway, so I thought I'd just let you know, day 101, they're letting us out properly in another month, in another four weeks, by the end of July. We hope, we hope, although we're not rushing, we're still not going to be rushing to go anywhere indoors. So anyway, I'm babbling on and you're waiting for the book recommendation. So this week I've chosen an author that I really like, but I've not... Uh, showcase one of her books before it's the snow rose by lulu taylor and um this is one i actually got it was a bargain i got it for 99 pence from the uh charity one of the charity shops in really good condition and um i feel as if lulu taylor is the queen of uh, um split time narratives more often than not in her books she has past and present as a split time and more often than not they're family dramas where um, something that happened in the past comes back to bite the person in the present as as in uh, you know it catches the past catches up with them or something happens with their ancestors in the past which has a knock-on effect for present day and as you know if you've been with me a while they are um, they are the sort of uh, family drama books that I like to read and she does it really well um, sometimes you'll find that and I've said this before you can read books with split time narrative and they get confusing and you don't know whether we're past or present and they mix it all up and uh, it takes a while i feel for authors to really nail that to nail it so that it's seamless and that you feel like one runs into the other and it's relevant not everybody can do the split time narrative as seamlessly as that and i feel that lulu taylor if you've not come across her before or read any of her books she does it really really well and i've not come across a bad one yet in what i've read so what's this one about uh well it says kate is on the run with her daughter heather her identity hidden and their destination unknown to the family they've left behind she's found a place where they can live in solitude a grand old house full of empty rooms and dark secrets Hmm. somewhere in solitude she could come to Scarborough and stop in our bungalow couldn't she this is a <laughs> we've been in solitude <laughs> um, but they're not alone for there are the strange old ladies in the cottage next door Matty and her sister Sissy they know what happened here long ago and are curious about Kate how long she can she hide Heather's presence from them so just as I explained 
uh, about her weaving in the split time narrative uh, this is really exciting so we've got the big old house and uh, yeah it is really good it's well worth the read uh, it's quite they're quite intriguing you want to read more to find out what's happened in the past what the link is to the future and uh, I just really love her books so this is the snow rose and it's this week's recommendations so thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and like every time I put a video up I seem to lose loads of subscribers so oh dear never get to that thousand anyway thank you very much and I'll see you next video bye for now